And what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick and Kid Game Fanatic to Michael Jordan the Gamer, and I'm back with yet another commentary. And we're not gonna have no gameplay on this one because I want to talk about this PlayStation Neo, man. I'm sick of tired of hearing all these comparisons from the Scorpio to the PlayStation Neo because we all know that the Scorpio is stronger. But but do we know? But do we really know? Because PlayStation ain't show us anything. Sony has not showed us anything about this Neo console. We have just been talking about it for the last few months. And we don't see anything. We are, we're speculating on the specs. We don't know if those specs are true. Now, Sony has pretty much kind of confirmed. Or I don't even know if they even confirmed it anymore. Because they they're not saying anything. But I've said in the past that they confirmed it. Because, you know, they haven't denied it. And there were articles of people saying that Sony confirmed it as well to be true, but we still have not seen this console. E3 has passed, we have not seen this console. I heard it's supposed to be at Gamescom. I'm not sure if that even happened yet, because <laughs> I'm, I'm typically normally out of the loop. I just know when E3 is, because it's all over the place and people talk about it on videos and stuff, but people don't typically talk too much about Gamescom like that. So it's hard to know, but I heard they were going to show it at Gamescom, but the system was rumored to be releasing in october let's see it's august now we got september october two months is supposed to be coming out but we don't even know anything about it we don't know if any other speculation about the specs were real um i i, I was hoping to see it at e3 but what i really believe happened is microsoft came out and they showed the scorpio um, and it showed the specs of the Scorpio. Sony has recently has not wanted to be weaker than Xbox. Now, even the past have shown, the past has shown this, that even when the PlayStation system was weaker than the, you know Microsoft Xbox, it still did better. It still sold better. So I don't understand if what I'm going to say is really true and why they're doing this because, like I said, in the past with the PlayStation 2. Um, and the regular Xbox, the OG Xbox, and then the PlayStation 3 with the Xbox One when actually PlayStation was the stronger console in that generation. But it started off weaker because, you know, the cell processor. But even when that was going on, Sony was still outselling the Xbox. So what I'm thinking happened is because, just like I said back in E3 2000, what was it, 2013? Um when microsoft announced that they were going to do all those drm sony saw this and was like hold on we got to go uh think about this because uh people are upset about it so then they came out and said oh yeah we're not going to have that but then they dropped that huge passage at the download when you get your uh, your playstation 4 because it's to remove all those DRM, DRM, uh, drm features and of course when you buy your games you have to install your games and stuff as well so think about that people said i was dumb when i said that too back in the day but it was honestly true. Sony was going to, you know, do the same thing as Xbox. Because those developers would not have accepted that if, you know, Microsoft was going to do it. Of course, if they wanted Microsoft to do it, they would definitely want PlayStation to do it as well. Unless PlayStation wanted to be like Nintendo and just make PlayStation games only. And that's it. For the console, that is. So, um, I feel like when Sony heard the Scorpio news at E3... You know, they backtracked again, tucked everything away. It was like, nah, hold on, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't show this because we're, we're weaker. We, we can't be weaker because before then, people really didn't know what the Xbox Scorpio was going to have inside. Um, so I think they were like, nah, we, we can't come out taking an L on this. We got to have those stronger systems. So I feel like they, they went back to the shop and they're sitting there trying to find stronger graphics cards and processors to put inside their PlayStation Neo that's going to compete a little better with the Xbox, if not better, um, by being a little stronger. And I honestly don't believe that it's going to come out in October. I don't think it's going to come out in October. Um, I think it's going to get pushed back. It's going to be some type of delay. We're going to get news from Sony probably soon. They're going to be like, hey, it's delay on the, uh, the Neo. We're sorry. We, we can't put it out. Some stuff. And then... It was like releasing uh, holiday season 2017. <laughs> People are going to be upset. I won't be surprised. I would not be surprised. But Sony, man, let us know something. Dude, tell us the truth. If you're going to push the system back because you want to put some, some stronger hardware in there, I can understand. I wouldn't even have a problem with it because if you put it out next year, that means that it was at least, um, actually, it would be four years. 
this yeah it'll be four years that the system has been out if you put it out next year which i'm used to you know console stuff for last generation but i'm used to the console systems lasting for four to five years before last generations went up to like 10 years so if that's the thing i don't have a problem with it <clears throat> other people may have an issue i mean i have a gaming pc even with your neo being strong as the six teraflop xbox scorpio my pc by then is going to be like 13 teraflops so that still wouldn't matter i would still only buy your console for your your exclusives i wouldn't buy it for multiplat so if you got to push it back and you need to announce that announce it i just want to know what's going on man stop keeping people on edge we want to hear this news we want to know what the neo is going to have if you're going to push it out with the weaker stuff go ahead and announce it and confirm the speculations of whatever the stuff is you know how many teraflops it is all that stuff just go ahead and confirm it i don't care just let it happen man i'm tired I'm tired of waiting man so anyway this is going to be the end of the commentary i just want to talk about the neo and how i felt about it and what i think is going on and why sony has not said a word let me know in the comment section how you feel about this do you think they are backtracking because of the scorpio specs or do you think that they are just afraid to show their specs because it's weaker than microsoft or do you think they're gonna you know delay it and come out for the next year or do you just don't care do you not just do, do you not care I, which one i don't it don't even matter man but don't forget to like subscribe all that stuff if you did like the video if you didn't and you're a troll and you just don't like me hit that like button and all the good stuff but it's your boy tick aka game fanatic and michael joining gaming and i'm gone bye